Okay, so this presentation is about the Spooky2 Scalar. And on my um, front page here, we have what I think are scalar waves. <laughs> they look cool anyway, whatever they are. And then a shell with a Fibonacci spiral that is kind of like a scalar wave because it moves clockwise and it's helical. Okay, so I'm gonna get into it now. I can't see very well on the screen. Here we go. All right. So, I don't know. Sorry, I'm just having trouble moving things around. Okay, so that's me there with my horse Corazon. So a little bit about me. I live in the back country of Southern California, US. I'm originally from England, but have spent most of my time, most of my life in the US. I have a therapeutic horse retreat where I live off grid with my six horses, three dogs and a cat. I've been a professional in the healing arts since 2000. And I specialize in horse constellations, which is healing transgenerational trauma in the family system with the help of my herd. I have a foundation of skills in energy medicine. So that's polarity therapy, cranial sacral unwinding, and Reiki. And so learning about Spooky 2 was a natural transition for me. And now I'm a certified Spooky 2 trainer, and I'm excited to teach you how you can become sovereign of your own health by using the Spooky 2 devices. Let's get to the next one. All right, so I'm just going to talk about who discovered scalar waves. So James Clark Maxwell, a Scottish scientist born in 1831, first discovered scalar waves. He made great contributions in the field of mathematical physics. Maxwell formulated the theories of ele electromagnetic radiation and electromagnetic fields. And then came along Tesla. Nikola Tesla advanced Maxwell's findings and invented machines proving the existence of scalar energy. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, Tesla discovered an electromagnetic longitudinal, sorry, longitudinal wave. This wave carried a lossless transmission of energy over vast distances, passing through solid metal objects with no deterioration of power and transported energy without the need of wires. Free electricity. Today, this is known as scalar wave. Okay. I'm probably going to repeat myself quite a bit because I don't know, sometimes I feel it's good to, you know, get it, get it to you. Okay, there's Tesla in front of his scalar device. And um, so, what are scalar waves? Scalar waves, also known as longitudinal waves, are created by a pair of identical waves 180 degrees out of phase with each other. This creates a non-Hertzian field of energy, meaning the scalar waves do not travel through space in the same way as traditional electromagnetic waves. They are believed to have zero frequency, zero point field, allowing them to transcend the constraints of time and space. Scalar waves are often described as standing waves, meaning that they do not move through space, but exist as a stationary pattern of energy. Scalar waves can be programmed to carry information and can move through solid metal objects while never losing power. In fact, the field tends to become stronger the larger it becomes. The helical shape of scalar waves mimic the helical structure and clockwise movement of our DNA, thus creating a resonance that allows our DNA to absorb scalar for healing purposes. Okay, let's go to the next one. 
<clears throat> okay, here's an illustration of scalar waves. Sorry, I'm just going to turn. Do not disturb. <clears throat> All right, so I just want to share this. I did a lot of research for this presentation because I really wanted to understand really, what is scalar? What is scalar waves? What is a scalar field? I do have the Spooky2 scalar device and I use it a lot, um, but and I love it. It's probably my favorite Spooky2 device, but I wanted to be able to uh, explain scalar waves and you know, everything I looked at was very sort of technical and kind of went in one ear and out the other. So I just kept going until I started to get it. So here's my notes. So in my research of understanding scalar waves and fields, I discovered our brain is a scalar generator. Thoughts are scalar waves, which explains the healing power of prayer. And also it can be used the other way, right? With harmful negative intentions has an impact. Our chakras or chakras are scalar gateways like portals. And they're also uh, transmitters and receivers. And we have resonant scalar wave patterns imprinted on our fingertips. If you look at fingerprints, it looks like a scalar wave. I'll, sh I'll show you an example in a minute. Our DNA replicates scalar waves, spinning clockwise, sending and receiving information. So I already mentioned that, that our DNA and scalar waves look the same and act the same. Okay, some examples of scalar waves in nature are sand wave ridges on the seabed, wave patterns in the desert sand and wave patterns in the sky, in the clouds, sorry. Some examples of natural portals of, en of scalar energy transference, that means like vortexes, vortices, are tornadoes, whirlpools, and even a whale with scalar energy portals on its tail for propulsion. So animals utilize scalar waves for energy, such as birds, bees, and fishes swimming upstream. So the point is, is that there's, there's, there's natural scalar waves, natural scalar energy, and then there's also artificial scalar, right? So the spooky scalar is, an, is a way of creating an artificial scalar field. And I got a lot of these references from a video. It was, it's called Scalar Energy and Scalar Waves in Healing. I put the link there uh, and I took a few screenshots, which I'm gonna show you now from that video. I don't agree with everything in that video, but it had a lot of good information. I kind of take things that resonate and then find other things, you know, um, but I don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Okay, here we are, the seabed. You see those waves? That's like scalar waves. And then under here is sand dunes in the desert. And then these are starlings and they literally create a vortex. And here is a whale tail with scalar vortexes on his tail. And on the lower right is the clouds. You've probably seen those. Okay. So I did also in my research, you know, um, saw that, or I heard it on a video that Re Reiki is uh, like scalar waves, right? So as I mentioned earlier, I'm a, I am a Reiki master. I've been one for years. Um, so this picture in the middle, right, with the hands. Um, so with Reiki, you can do long distance healing. And um, you, the way that I teach it is that you have 
the intention between your hands and then you send the energy into your hands. But this made a lot of sense to me because when you send Reiki, you can send it, you can transcend space and time, which is what Scalar does, right? It doesn't fit in with our normal uh, idea of how things move and travel, how energy moves and travels. Um, so on the left is a diagram of the, of the chakras in the body, the main ones. There's chakras everywhere in the body. They're in the joints, fingers, fingertips, feet. But here's the seven main ones. And then see this uh, diagram here underneath in the middle is of the energy coming through the fingertips, right? And then on the bottom right is the fingerprint. And we all have unique thing, fingerprints. And uh, a resonant locked scalar wave patterns in our fingertips. So the ones in the fingers are minor chakras. You know, so uh, you see that where it's coming out the center of the hand. When you point your finger at someone, <laughs> it it hurts almost. It's like, ah. You know, anyway. So just to kind of get your get you a little inspired about scalar. All right. So this video, heads up, it's a little grainy. It's a copy of a copy of a copy. But I really wanted to show you because it really uh, gives a good visual of how scalar waves, a scalar field is created. Okay, so let's see. <gasps> when you get done with a shot, it looks like you're growing your own organs in an aquarium. Okay. Cool. So this is what? This is round how many? Five? Four? Seven? <laughs> Seven or we are refilling the tank for the hundred something time. Or should the dog it's going to work. <laughs> that is going to work. Oh, I think today might be the day. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, the secondaries. Look at those, man. Wow. Mm. So that was done in a, whoops. Now his way of okay, transmitting energy. I don't want to play that yet. So that was done in an aquarium tank in water. And at the beginning, you know, they were missing, but then they got it. And when the two energy fields came together, that's the scalar field. That's, that's a really good visual anyway, I thought. And I did get that from... I apologize because I can't remember his name, but he's a spooky trainer and he had it in his Scalar webinar. And um, I think it's from uh, a TV show or something, but I took it from from his um, webinar, which is really good actually, if you want to get more detail, it's a good watch. And I'm sure Zara can put the link in for that. I think she has it already. Okay, so this is John White. He is the owner of Spooky2. He's the one who makes all the devices. And this was an interview that I found where he's explaining scalar waves and molecular scalar mode. 
Okay, I am going to get more into that as we get in. But basically, molecular scalar mode is when you can put um, uh, substances like, let's for instance, supplements or vitamins, and then you that will go enter into the field. The information of that will enter into the field. Anyway, he explains it so well, so I'm going to let him talk. All right, here we go. Now, his way of transmitting energy was using scalar waves. Scalar waves are percussion, which is mm. the uh, waves which uh, our bodies talk at naturally. Our DNA talks in percussion waves. Uh, more technically, they call them longitudinal waves. Mm -hmm. Now, scalar waves behave differently from radio waves. They can pass through steel, concrete, Faraday cages. It doesn't matter. It just goes straight through once a scalar field has been established. Now, during his research, Nikola Tesla made machines which produced copious amounts of scalar waves. Right. Huge amounts. And he noted that when he stood next to this machine, he felt really good. Really, really good. So what we have done is taken his observations and refined them. We've looked at his patient, patents of um, 1902, and <laughs> they've long expired, so it's okay for us to do this. Right. Uh, and we can't, we can't lay claim to having invented anything, really. But what we have discovered is the health benefits of the scalar wave. Now, scalar waves, uh, just like how you can pick up a telephone and talk to someone on the other side of the world, or that's the old-fashioned analogy. I should use a more modern one where you can use yeah. Skype or the internet. Okay, you're giving me, you're <laughs> giving me the look, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm, okay, I'm showing my age here. But um, scalar waves can do the same thing, but um, mm -hmm. do it over that, that special uh, longitudinal wave. Um, that can, it can transfer information. In fact, it's a very good way of transferring information. And where it really gets amazing is the knowledge that the scalar field can transmit chemical information, which means you can put on the coil mm -hmm. a, he a healing compound, stand within the scalar field, and get all the benefits of that compound within that field. Let's say, for example, an easy example, you've got a cold, and you put vitamin C um, on the coil. You, you sleep in the field. The next day you'll feel alive and invigorated because you've received it. Your body has received all the information of the vitamin C. Right. The way, the way that vitamins and minerals and, and proteins all work in your body, they engage with your cells. They mm. lock into energy patterns. Now, every molecule has got what's known as a free electron energy state. If you can match that um, either through a physical sub substance or through um, frequencies, your, your body will receive exactly the same information that that molecule would have presented to your cells if it had been ingested. Okay, there you have it. It's pretty good stuff so far. I hope you're following. Okay. I hope I'm not overwhelming you. Too much information. Okay. So now we get to the Spooky 2 scalar device, which I want to show you. Um, so some of you may be familiar with this already. Some of you may have one already. So they're basically two boxes. They kind of look like record players. They're about the same size as a portable record player. The old <laughs> in the old from the old days. Okay, so on the left here, you have the transmitter, and on the right, you have the receiver, and both of them have a coil on them, right? You see here and here. So I'm just going to read the description, right? So two boxes with lids. One is the transmitter, the other one, the receiver. You place them opposite each other at least six feet apart with the outer lids facing each other. <clears throat> You use the link cable to connect the boxes and turn the power on. To create a coherent scalar field, 
turn the tuning dial anti-clockwise and stop when you see the red light, sorry, red LED light shine the brightest. So that's tuning it, right? So you have to tune it like a radio. It's really easy. And then you confirm it's working by pressing the button on the receiver box, which will show a red light. And then you want to make sure you turn that off. Otherwise, it will deplete the power from your scalar field. So here we have a picture. This is of my, um, this is the transmitter box. And then um, here on the red, is the red LED light. You can see it's on. And you just do what I said, it's super easy. And then it's an on off switch. I mean, there's really not much to it. And then on the other box, this little button, I don't, you can, it's red. It, I know it doesn't look too red, but it will light up if it's working, right? So that's how you test it. And the only reasons why it wouldn't work is if you haven't connected it properly, or if the link cable is coiled, right? You want to keep the link cable away from metal. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's it. And then it should work. And uh, yeah, so six feet, at least six feet apart. I have them on either side of my bed and I sleep in it. Most people do that. They sleep in it. Okay, so the Spooky 2 scalar has four different modes. There's the pure scalar, molecular scalar, the rife scalar, and the scalar harmony, which is audio. Okay. So here are the benefits from the Spooky 2 scalar. So it increases cell energy, boosts energy levels, opens the chakras, slows aging, accelerates body metabolism and weight management, enhances body circulation, relieves high blood pressure, unclamps blood cells, reduces pain and inflammation, helps with arthritis and injuries, stimulates our natural immune function to kill viruses and bacteria, speeds up natural healing, improves permeability of cell walls, enhances cell nutrient absorption and waste detoxification, manages stress, improves sleep quality, heals nerves, helps with depression, clears the mind, enhances focus and concentration, improves memory, relieves migraine, reduces the harmful effects of EMFs from cell phones, computers, Wi-Fi, etc. repairs DNA, protects DNA from damage, and enhances plant health and growth. Okay. So here's a illustration of what it would look like if you are in the scalar field. So on the left here is someone at a desk. She's programming the Generator X Pro there. Um, so hold on, let me move this. Using frequencies from the Generator X Pro for the scalar rife mode. Okay, so that's one of the modes that I mentioned where you can add frequencies to the scalar right, which you come through the generator. I'm going to talk a bit more about that later. Make sure to remove the generator from the scalar field while it's running. And now on the bottom right is someone just using pure scalar mode. Okay, so that's super easy. You just plug it in. You do what I said before, tune it, and then enjoy it. And you want to stay at least two feet away from the transmitter and one foot away from the receiver. And you make sure the link cable is not caused or touching metal. I already said that. Okay. 
All right, pets and plants benefit from scalar. So it's not just for people, it can also help our pets. So here on the right, my two doggies in the scalar field. And uh, I don't know, I noticed with my little dog, he pretty much sleeps in it every night, that um, I noticed that his breath got better. He used to have stinky breath. His breath got better and his coat got really good. He's old. He's not super old, but I don't even know how old he is. I think he's probably about 12 or something. And then um, I've, I took this from the Spooky 2 Scalar Facebook page. There is a group there, which is helpful. If you um, want to check that out, if you are on Facebook. Anyway, I took this. So they said, I conducted my own test to see how scalar energy works on my body. I, t I picked two flowers from the same bush, exactly the same condition, only just burst into bloom. I placed one in ordinary filtered tap water and the other in pure scalar water. So I'm going to tell you what scalar water is in a little bit. It was exciting watching them for a week. The one on the left in filtered tap water, wilting more and more daily. A week later, I have taken the photo. Guess which one was in the scalar water? My conclusion. So it's obviously the one on the right that looks healthier, more vibrant. My conclusion, if scalar can give flowers longevity, it can also give my body longevity. I am now saving scaly, sorry, scalar daily water to water my indoor plants and strawberries. So um, I'm just going to move on because I'm going to explain the scalar water. But also, you know, you could put your plants here, right in the middle. And they would benefit like that. All right. So I'm going to talk about the molecular scalar mode, which John was talking about in that video clip. And this is my scalar. So this is the receiver, okay? And I just put my vitamins, you know, vitamin C, magnesium, NADHD, uh, what else do I put in there? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, I can't remember what I put in there, but... Um, Anyway, because you know what? I've been using the same ones over and over and over again. It saves a lot of money. So you just recycle it every night. And I'm getting the vitamins as I sleep. And then also, if I put a glass of water on the, on the transmitter box here, like here, all of the... Um, all the energy from those supplements are going to go into that water. So that's what that woman was talking about. What the scalar water is when you put water on that coil. Okay. So it, so what I wrote here is whatever is placed on the re receiver coil, which was the vitamins and stuff will imprint into water placed on the transmitter coil. Okay. And then you drink that, you know, the next day, some people spread it out all day and you're getting an, an infusion, right? Of all of anything that you put on there. You can, well, I'm going to talk about what you can put on there now. Hold on. Oh, but first of all, I want to play this clip. And this is John again, telling a personal story about what he put on the receiver call. I'll, I'll tell you a bit of a personal story. Um, my wife and I have been trying for a child for a while and we weren't having any luck and we went to hospital and were told that um, become used to the fact that we were going to be barren, not have right. a child. Mm -hmm. And uh, we tried lots of different ways. We ended up putting a wish of a mm -hmm. child, just a simple wish. Yeah. Poured, 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 it was me, I poured out my heart onto a piece of paper, folded it up, put it on the scale unit. And um, two months after that, and we had we applied it all the time. Two months after that, we we had the good news. So, not everything is factual. Okay, you can make 
things, you can make miracles happen if you put yourself right. and your mind and everything in the right place. Yeah, you can make miracles happen. He put an intention on the receiver call, just wrote it on there, and um, it happened. And he was told he couldn't have children by more than one doctor. Well, I'll, I'll tell you a bit of So obviously we can't, you know, I can't guarantee that's going to happen for you. I'm just showing you, you know, what other people do and what, how they use it. So here I put a list of some ideas of what to put on the receiver coil. So you can put herbs and spices such as ginger, garlic, cumin, lemons, homeopathic medicines, prescription medicines, essential oils, vitamins, supplements such as methylene blue. I put that there because um, methylene blue, I don't know if you know what it is. Some of you probably know what it is, but it's it stains your teeth. So I never took it because I didn't want to st I didn't want to stain my teeth. But if you put it on the receiver coil, you're not going to get stained teeth, right? And it's not going to go through your liver or your kidneys because I also heard that it might be a little hard on your kidneys. I don't know. I haven't done too much research on that, but it's supposed to do some really awesome things for the body. And then C60, that's carbon 60, which is expensive, you know, NADH, which is great. That's expensive. And then some people put urine on their, um, on the coil. CBD oil, MMS, which is sodium chloride and written intentions. All right, so let me talk about the urine. Um, some of you probably know about urine therapy, you know, where you drink your urine, okay? Well, you could just put it on the coil, right, and get the benefits like that. And then some people who have cancer, they put um, something like maybe like MMS, which is sodium chloride, a few drops in their urine. Or they could put vitamin C in the urine. So like a little glass, like you saw the glass I had on there, right? You don't want to use plastic. I wouldn't use metal. Use glass. And um, the, it, the what the information is, is that what's happening to the scalar field is that it's receiving this information that we're going to kill these cancer cells. All right, because in the urine, the, there's evidence of the cancer cells in the urine. And then the vitamin C or the MMS is killing it. So that information goes into the field and kills the cancer in your body. That's the theory. Okay. That's the theory. Okay. But it's experimental. But people have had great results. And um, you can find out there's tons of testimonials on the spooky to scalar website and also on um on the facebook site there's tons okay imprinting with spooky to scalar so you can imprint okay so whatever you have on the receiver coil can be imprinted into a glass of water placed on the transmitter coil so i already talked about that so that's called imprinting. Whoops, I want to go back. Whoops, sorry. All right, so now it gets really interesting, okay? So some scalar users have experimented with remote healing by placing DNA or photographs on the transmitter coil. Some users have put the DNA or photographs in the scalar field but the general consensus is that the transmitter coil is a more powerful place because it emits concentrated scalar energy. Okay, so I I want to do that. I haven't had a chance to try it out, but I want to try it out. So basically, you know, you can use a photo. It doesn't matter if it's digital or if it's uh, an old type of photo. And then um, whatever you want to send them. So say like, uh, so I was going to try it with my brother. He has Parkinson's. 
And then I was going to put um, MMS actually on the receiver. And then I was going to put his photo on the transmitter and just fire it up and then not have anything inside the scalar field and just run it. And I was going to run it for about six hours or 10 hours or something and check in with him and see if he noticed anything. And I also wanted to try with just using the name, maybe the name and the date of birth, you know? So these are experiments that I'm looking forward to trying out. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Next one. All right, so the scalar rife mode. This is where you add frequencies from the generator. So you see here you have the to um, the transmitter and receiver, and then you have the generator X Pro here, generator as an example. And these are the steps that you want to follow carefully. So you connect generator one out or out two to the spooky scalar generator input. You turn the Spooky2 scalar on. You tune the Spooky2 scalar as previously explained. You select the programs you wish to run and load the generator, and then you start the generator. Okay, and then you want to make sure the generator is outside the scalar field. So for instance, you could put in any program for from the database. There's 60,000 programs in there. You can choose any of them to put into your scalar field. All right. And then some of you may be familiar with this. This is the scalar harmonizer for audio frequencies. Okay. So I think this is relatively new. I'm not sure when it came out, but um, I have one. I have one and I've been using it. I've been trying it out. And uh, I had a really interesting experience. I um, found some frequencies that I've put through the harmonizer. So basically, I'll just tell you how it, you set it up. Uh, see here, you, it fits on to the coil. It's really simple. It just fits in there very easily. And then it even has a little hollow area there you can put supplements, you can put oils, whatever you want in there as well. If you like, you don't have to, but you can, if you want, is the option of that. And then this cable will hook into some kind of audio device that you have. So I hooked it up to my phone and then I ran, um, I think it was Solfeggio frequencies. And uh, I had a really interesting experience I was in euphoria. I just, I don't know what happened. I wish I, I wish I could replicate it, but um, I have not felt that good in years. <laughs> I was falling in and out of dream state. And um, I had it in the dream. I was telling people, you got to try it. You got to try it. It's amazing. But anyway, um, yeah, I couldn't believe how good I felt. So, and I realized, you know, the audio frequencies, like John mentioned earlier, they're percussive, right? So that's the same way as the scalar waves. And um, so it's, it's complementary. And the way that it uh, we absorb it, you know, into our cells. Um, it's pretty interesting. Okay, so here on the right, again, is my dog. And that's, I set it up here on the coil. And I was putting um, Foxy receiving Schumann audio frequencies through the harmonizer. So I'll just explain, you, you, you don't really hear it, okay? So with Schumann resonance, it's so low, you can barely hear it. Oops, sorry, I wanna go back. So it's not what you might think it is. The scalar harmonizer isn't like a speaker. It's, it's not, um, it's not a device that plays music per se so that you can hear it and it sounds really nice. It's more like it plays, it um, transmits the frequencies through, like through the audio through into the scalar. 
Okay. And some of them, you know, might be like that, you know, a little. But what I found is that because I'm sort of far away from it and it's not that loud, it didn't bother me, you know. And I did find an app. Um, I was looking around. And I found this app. There's tons of apps with frequencies and audio frequencies. Um, it's called HC Frequency Generator or something. And you can literally program in any frequency from 1 to 22,000 hertz. Okay. And it's pretty simple to use. So, again, you know, it's... Uh, experimental but I liked it and also uh, I like the Schumann resonance again because you know you can't hear it really and uh, it's anti mind control right so it's kind of pre brainwashing prevention <laughs> stop yourself being brainwashed and in and it also helps clear your thoughts and the scalar does that anyway because I mentioned that before right all right, let's moving on. Um, oh, yeah, Q&A now. Okay. And then please stick around to the end because I do have a coupon for you. 5% off any spooky devices. Um, I'm going to go into the Q&A now. All right. All right, here we have... Ed, hello, quick question. How many times are you vitamins can you place on receiver to be included in the scanner field? So yeah, I, I mentioned before, I've been using my the same ones for weeks. Um, it doesn't deteriorate as far as I understand. You can just keep recycling them. I mean, obviously you want to clean them, like not let them get too dusty and things like that. But um how come I can't seem to tune my unit to five two eight? Closest I can come is five two five and five. I don't know five thirty five two eight is powerful healing hurts. I would love to be able to dial that in. Okay, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I mean, I don't even look at my tuning. You know, it's it varies is what I've heard, um, and it might be different each time you tune it. And I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. You can always add those frequencies, like I said, through the harmonizer or through the through the Rife mode. Okay. Best method to treat using Spooky 2 for bioweapon damage from COVID vaccine. I have graphene oxide objects, ribbons in my blood. Okay. Using Spooky. Uh, there are cleanses, right? There's a there is a graphene oxide cleanse detox. You can look in the database. There's lots. There's the um, terrain cleanse. There's uh, one for plastics. Um, you know, nano. Talking about nanoplastics. I've heard uh, someone said that was really good for them. Um, so yeah, and then they do have they have detoxes from specific vaccines in there as well. Okay. So you could do that contact, you could do that with a scaler as well. Um I think. Yeah, you could try it, but the probably the best way to do it is contact or remote. Okay. Is it okay to run spooky scalar and spooky remote at the same time? Yeah, I do. I do. And and then again, sort of monitor yourself because sometimes I just realize like, whoa, I've been having that frequency running for a long time and I just want to turn it off now. You know, sometimes I take a break from the frequencies so that I can just enjoy pure scalar, you know. Um, but it's really you to monitor yourself and see how you feel but you definitely um, want to take a break from the frequencies from the remotes you know after a certain amount of time um 
I don't know, I think it's like every four days or something. I don't know. Some people run it nonstop. It's really down to the individual. Yeah, I believe that's true. Is it? Is it true that the brighter the red test lights, the more powerful the scalar wave? Yes, I believe that's true. Yeah. In adding, say, nine, sorry, nine vitamin C into the scalar coil, how long before these nine vitamin C lose their effectiveness? Okay, I don't think you need, need to put nine. You can just put one. I don't think you need to put a whole bunch. Um. I already talked about that, you know, you can keep going with those. It's really up to you when you want to change them out, but they they don't diminish. Okay. I sleep in the field with or without supplements on the receiver, but on occasion have forgotten to turn the test light off on the receiver box. You said it depletes the power of the field. Can you say how much of a significant depletion or not much depletion? Okay. All I've heard is that, yeah, you definitely want to turn that off and it can deplete. And I don't know how much, by how much, but um, you're not getting your full potential, definitely. So try not to do that. Yeah. As soon as you press it in and you see the red light, turn it off. When you put supplements on the receiver, do they need to be center on the large circle or the small gray circle. I think as long as they're within the coil, it's fine. But, you know, go for the small gray, gray circle. Um, hi, Sarah. How long to imprint the water and vitamins? One or 24 hours? That's a good question. So I do it overnight. So it's basically... If I'm sleeping seven hours, I do it for seven hours. Um, uh, I don't think you need to do it 24 hours, Pr probably more than one hour. You know, that's a good question. I'm going to have Zara answer that as well. But um, yeah, that's a pretty good question. I Like I said, I just do it because I sleep in it. Right, so just the amount of time that I'm in it. Okay, I think I answered all the questions. Let me just quickly go in the chat. Oh, is there more questions? Oh, yeah, there's more. Sorry. Tony says, the sound from the scalar is sound that you send to the harmonizer through a cell or something. Okay. Okay, so the... There's no sound in pure scalar, okay? Like if you're just using the scalar, there's no sound. If you put the harmonizer on it, which is a unit that is sold separately, okay? If you attach that, you attach that to a audio device like your phone, and then you send the audio through it. So that's how it works. And you don't hear it through the phone. You hear it through the harmonizer. So it's not super loud. Um, it's it's not like, a, like I explained before. It's not like a great stereo sound or something like that. It's, it's not for that. It's not for that purpose. It's to get the frequencies from the whatever sound you're putting in there. Obviously, it's going to be some kind of healing sound like Solfeggio or Schumann. You know, there's all, um, there's like that, that app that I told you, you can put any frequency in there as well. You just program it in. Uh, the higher it gets, you're probably not going to, the, the bigger the number, you're probably not going to hear it because it's so high pitch. I hope that answers that one, Tony. So for pure scalar, the scalar TX box has a built-in generator. So for the pure, sorry. Uh, I don't really understand that. TX box, you mean the transmitter? Uh, there's not, it's, it's scalar. It's not a generator, all right? So there's scalar and then there's rife. Rife comes through the generators. 
scalar is scalar. They're different. So pure scalar is when you have, I'm going to put the light on, just the two boxes set up and you just turn them on and it's super easy. It's super easy to use. That's why I like the scalar because it's very easy to use and you can hook it up to the generator if you want. If you want to bring in frequencies, you can, or you just can have pure scalar. All right, Catherine, with regard to the use of photos, do some people put the photo in between the boxes as opposed to on the transmitter box? And do you think it would be a good enough to take a photo with your phone and print a black and white copy? I'm planning to treat my cat this way. And how often might you update the photo? Okay, I think you don't need to update the photo. And I did say this before that some people put it in between the scalar and some people put it on the transmitter, right? But the general consensus, this is what John said, is the transmitter is stronger because it's more concentrated scalar energy. So, but you can try both. There was a, a guy on um, the Facebook, he did, he had some um, things that lowered his blood pressure, I think it was, or something like that, but he had some way of measuring it. And, um, he just put his photo in between the scalar field and there was a notice, noticeable result, right? And that was just in doing it in between. And then he also did it on the transmitter and there was a result as well. So both ways work, but I think putting on the transmitter is probably better, but you can experiment. When sleeping with spooky scalar on, should the transmitter and receiver be placed on each side or placed head to toe? Does it matter? Okay, that's a really good question. And I'm sorry I didn't cover that because the field is like an oval. It's kind of like a, a football field. I showed that diagram in the beginning with this, the illustration of the scalar field. So it looks like that, like an oval. So basically the width is half the length, half the size of the length, okay? So it's probably better to have it head to toe. I don't have it like that because it, it won't fit like that for me, but I still feel the benefits of it. I hope that helped. Can someone use too much deck scale? Good question. Basically, your body would just stop receiving it. It's very gentle. It's very gentle and your body would just it takes what it needs. Um, you know, I, I see a lot, not a lot, but I've seen a few people on the Scalar Facebook page say, nothing's happening or I don't feel anything. You know, Scalar is very subtle. It's very subtle. But um, people have done their blood and have seen a change in their red blood cells. Okay, so remember earlier I said it, it um, unclumps the blood, the red blood cells, right? So when they're all congested, that's not good because your blood's not doing its job, okay? And what the scalar does, it helps to separate the blood cells and individuate them. So you could see it if you did your blood, but you might not feel any different, you know, right away, right? Um, when I started using it, I had broken my collarbone and I just noticed um, after a few days that I could get out of bed much easier. Like I could put weight on my arm, the side that I'd broken it. And so I noticed a progression. Uh, every day I seemed to get better. And um, obviously I was getting better anyway, but it was noticeable. And it just felt that the scalar was really supporting me and getting better. Uh, okay, hold on. So you want to do the red test button. You want it to be as bright as possible. Okay, and actually when, so if your uh, devices are really far away, you know, the field actually gets stronger, okay? It, it will go through walls. So you can have it in one room and the other one in the other room, okay? The thing that is going to weaken it is when you have a lot of people in there, all right? So when you have a lot of people, everyone's absorbing it. So that makes the field weaker. 
And, and and if your test button is not bright, like maybe reposition the lids so that they're facing directly each other. Okay, or maybe you have the lids around the wrong way. You know, I'm embarrassed to say, but I had the lids around the wrong way in the beginning. And then I saw a, a picture of it. I was like, oh, I've got them around the wrong way. And it still worked. Okay, can you do biofeedback scan with Scala? Is it with a digitizer? Yes, you can. I didn't talk about the biofeedback because that's a different webinar. Um, but yes, definitely you. there's a device, um, a biofeedback device that you can buy with it. And it's specifically for the scalar, okay? It's not for, it's not the one that you use with the generator. How can you use the scalar to rid the home of mold? Yeah, you wouldn't really use the scalar for that. You would use the Spooky Central for that. Use the Phonotron for that. Or you can use a remote. You put a sample of the mold in the remote, and then there's sweeps. There's mold sweeps in the database. I did it, and it worked after about three days. Um, are there any medical restrictions that prevent people from using scalar? I'm thinking hip and knee replacements. No, scalar is really safe. Um, it's really uh, gentle. So you're fine with the hip and knee replacements. You didn't mention the smaller gray circle within the larger circle. I thought that was where you prefer preferably concentrate the sample of whatever you are sending. I understand you can also place your samples in the bigger circle, of course. Yeah, ideally, you know, you'd put it in the little one, right? But the outer circle is still effective. Okay, so if you have lots, you can have lots of things in there, like say like you have a, an apple or an orange or something, you know, it's still, you're still going to get it if it is outside of the little gray circle. In COVID-19 folder, a bunch of detoxes, yeah. Is there a YouTube video for setting up the scalar? Yeah, there's lots of videos. There's short videos. Like I said, it's very simple. Just to do the basic pure scalar, which is really effective, really nice. You can set it up right away, right away. There's instructions. It comes with instructions. It's not like the um, other devices or the generators where it's a bit more complicated, where you have to hook it up to the laptop and things like that. You, you don't have to do that. Okay. Do you add the dose you want to receive to the receiver, i.e. not a whole bottle of C60, but two point five milliliters of c60 okay it's it's a different way of receiving it okay and this is also what you have to kind of monitor it's it's probably not going to be as strong as if you're taking it okay um but i would just put a little sample i would put uh a, a couple of drops you know in a glass in, in a glass container for the C60, you know, or you could even put the bottle of the C60 on there and take the lid off, right? So you don't really want the plastic lids. Um, you could put a marble, a glass marble or a cork in there as well. So when I do essential oils, I put the whole bottle of the essential oil in there. Okay. Or you can put a few drops in a glass. Okay. I heard you have can have cell phones with you in the field. Is that actually true? Because I also heard that you can't have metals in the field. Um, okay, so some people say it's okay. Some people say, some trainers say, don't have your cell phone in there. Um, I do, but not for very long. Um but yeah, it's the metal that's touching, it's the metal near the cable, which is what you want to avoid. And um, yeah, and I, 
I think it's probably not good to have too much metal in the field also. If the receiver light, not the transmitter light, is just barely lit, does that still indicate the presence of a scalar field? Yes, but the the brighter the light, the stronger it is. The tuning has two spikes. According to the doc, you could use the second peak for this scalar field. Is that correct? And also, when I use the BFB with a scalar, I cannot get it tuned. So I disconnect the BFB tune and then reconnect, reconnect it. Is the scalar field then still correct? Okay, a lot of questions there. So you're right, it has two spikes, but you don't want to do the second one. That's just EMF, so you don't want to use that one. You just, you turn it on, you go anti-clockwise, you get to the brightest light, that's it. Don't do it again. Don't continue, because then it's just going to be EMFs, okay? You can always turn it on. Sorry, you can always turn it off and retune it. Um. When I use the biofeedback with a scalar, I cannot get it tuned. So I disconnect the... Um, I'm going to have Zara answer that. I have done the biofeedback with it. It's been a long time ago. But I'm going to have her answer that. Which device you observe more results with scalar or central with plasma? Thank you. Okay, it really depends what you need it for. So some people who have cancer, you know, they go for the central because it's aggressive and it's really strong, okay? The scalar is gentle. It's more for healing, right? Whereas the central is more killing, okay? Um, but the scalar really... Um, you know, it gets everything moving in your system. It helps you remove toxins. It removes the waste, you know. Um, and John has a testament, testimony of someone that tried it out and she was using it for three months and her cancer went, you know. So it depends. Like, like I said, some because some people don't have a really definitive experience or result, they uh, think it's not doing anything, uh, but it is. You're just gonna just keep doing it, and and then you'll notice changes. Like, uh, what did I notice? I noticed. Oh yeah, I noticed my circulation got a lot better because I used to have numb hands. And then I noticed I didn't have numb hands anymore. You know, when I went to sleep, if I slept a certain way, that's improved tremendously. And there was something else that improved. I can't remember. But it was slow thing. things that I suddenly, oh, yeah, I know what it was. Um, I used to get um, these uh, kind of deep sores on my, my fingers. My fingers would crack, you know, and I noticed, oh, it, I don't have that anymore. And it was just after a time, I just realized, oh, wow, I haven't had that for ages. And I think that's the scalar because I, I do it consistently. And I just want to say, you know, if you go anywhere and get a scalar session, it's 50 bucks, at least 50 bucks an hour that you're going to pay to have a scalar experience at a wellness center or something like that. Um, but, you know, with this, you got it in your own home and you can use it as much as you want, when you want. Can you explain how the cords between the boxes should be set up? Can you run them under a metal bed frame or if they're too long for the space? Okay. Uh, you just, if they try to get them as far as, as apart as you can and then, you know, don't uh, do a tight uh, coil with the with a cable. Just have it loosely folded, you know, like loosely. Like kind of be creative. And if you've got a metal bed, I think as long as it's away from the metal, like maybe run it along the wall 
or something. Um, you know, you have to kind of uh, get creative. How long is the call between the machines? How far apart can you put the two devices? Okay, uh, the specs on the cables, they do have a really long one. I want to say it's 64 feet, but I'm not sure. I'd rather Zara answer that. Um, the one is pro it's probably about, it's somewhere like around eight feet or 10 feet, the one that it comes with, or you can get the longer one. Yeah, so Zara is going to answer that. I read that it's counterproductive to use scalar if one has metal in their bodies. What about implants and almagam, almaglam, almagams? Um, you know, I I don't know. I I think it's fine, but Zara is going to answer that one again. Red light on my receiver is not coming on. Is it a problem? Yeah. So if if your red light is not coming on on your receiver it's not working you 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 have to figure out why you can also contact the admin they're really good they have a chat um thing just know that they're in china and china is on a different time zone obviously but they're very helpful and they'll talk you through it have you tried any quartz crystals on the receiver oh that's great no i haven't I haven't. Let me know if if you try that. Is it okay to turn the tuning dial clockwise if you pass the brightest point accidentally? Yeah, just a little, like not a lot, you know, just you can tweak it. You can tweak it a little, it's fine. Can I combine several programs, some specific to me and some specific for my wife? and run these Rife programs through the scalar at the same time to treat my wife and I. Yeah, you can try it. I mean, um, what would I do? Yeah, maybe rotate it, you know. Um, because you're probably like, I don't know if it was me, I would just have one night where it's for you and then the next night for your wife, you know, I would do it like that because then you can kind of monitor and see if there's, if it's helping. Last night I slept in a scalar field with a remote with terrain and a micro gen and other programs while sleeping on the mirror mate, big magic. Is that too much? I heard that it's okay if you have, if you're on the mat as well. I heard that that's okay. Yeah. I mean, how did you feel? Right? Did you feel it was too much? Your body will tell you. If I put a vitamin capsule on the coil with its plastic capsule, am I also getting the plastic compounds into my body? I don't think the vitamins are in plastic, right? Because they're not going to put vitamins inside a plastic capsule if you're going to ingest it it's usually gelatin but yeah you don't want plastic on there please confirm if you use someone's dna you put it on the transmitter coil not receive yes transmitter coil put it on the transmitter coil i know it doesn't make sense because you think oh put it on the receiver coil you on the receiver coil you can put whatever you want them to receive. I hope that makes sense. I know it sounds counterproductive. But the picture you showed is a picture demonstrating of standing waves. The first can be a scalar wave, but I doubt that the second and third picture is a scalar. John also said that it looks like an American football. Yeah. First, I don't know what picture you're referring to. It does make the shape of an oval. Yeah. Okay. 
which box do we turn off the red light? The receiver, the receiver box. It's the test light. Could you share the best way to learn to do a biofeedback with Scalar? Yeah, you can find a video. There's lots of tutorials. There's great tutorials. You can search them. Zara's answering that right now. How many of these can you use at the same time? Rife, Harmony, etc. Well, do you want to use them? I mean, in, with the Harmony, you're getting frequencies. Um, I would use just one at a time. I wouldn't use them both at the same time. Okay. My scatter is brightest at 4.45 and not over 5. Is that okay? Yes. I wouldn't worry about the numbers. Just go with the bright LED light. Would you repeat how far away the receiver and transmitter need to be apart from the person? One was one feet and the other, I believe, was two feet. Thanks. Yes, you want to be two feet from the transmitter and one foot away from the receiver. How long does scalar water last? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's structured water, right? So that's what it's doing as well. It's structuring the water, coherent water. So I imagine that it'll last quite a long time. Can you put pictures in the remote instead of DNA sample? Is the picture as good? Okay, I haven't personally done this. I've just read about it. I've read people doing that. And, um, but you're talking about the remote. Can you put pictures in the remote? Okay, I I don't know about that. I've never done it. They don't recommend it. I don't know anyone who's done that. Some people I've I've heard put the names in there, inside the remote. How big is the scalar field to move the generator out of the scalar field? How far do you have to move it? How big is the scalar field? Oh, okay, okay. So the width of it is half the distance of how far apart it is. Okay. Can you talk a little about sleeping with a pet on the end of the bed or a partner if you have either with you? Seems it would be ideal to have the boxes at either end of your entire house so that would strengthen it and conceivably strengthen the field, as you said. Yes. Yeah. So... So whoever, you know, they recommend that you don't want to share the scalar with someone who has a, an illness, right? Like who's severely ill. Um, but some people do, you know, like there's on the scalar web, uh, Facebook page, there's husbands and wives and they sleep in it together. And one of the, one of them is ill, you know, and they, one guy said he was fine, you know, um, cause, cause the premise is that we're there, we're already entangled with our pets and stuff. Right. So it's okay. I mean, I sleep with my dogs on it and my cat and I'm fine. I, I feel good. Okay. Uh, how do you plug the generator into the scalar units? They both have the same connector generator and scalar transmitter. There's no cable. Okay, it comes with the cable. And it, so it's a specific cable, cable and it has a specific input on the scalar, on the transmitter. It's pretty simple. So if you just bought the the um, scalar unit without the generator, you probably don't have the cable. Okay, so you'd probably have to order the cable. I'm guessing because it's different than the link cable. Okay. What if someone has cancer? Should they be in the scalar field alone? Would it be harmful for the? Okay, I just kind of answered that one. Um. So, yeah, I did answer that just now. Should we be in the field with others who have serious? Okay, I just answered that. Can crystals be used on a receiver? Um, you can try. I 
I don't know, you know, like, what do you want from the crystal? Like a crystal is a transmitter and receiver as well, right? So what, what do you want from the crystal? I guess you got to ask that question. Can I combine several programs, some specific to me and some? Shoot my wife. I think I answered that. They both have B and C. Oh, okay. Zara, can you answer that about the cables for the generator and for the link? Or that might be also um, to do with the biofeedback because the biofeedback device plugs into the transmitter as well. But I'm going to ask Sarah to answer that. Spooky cells, 20 meter link cables, I think. So you can't set the boxes up. And they mentioned it. But it gets stronger with a further distance apart. Yeah. Yeah, they do have an extra long cable that you can get in the accessories. Is scalar better than Rife for sensitive individual with MCAS, CFS, ME diagnosis? I'm really sorry. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. Uh, but again, scalar is really gentle. It's really gentle. So, uh, And it's different than frequencies. It's, it's, it's different. Why does the cable length between scalar units is too long make the scalar field weaker or non-existent? No, it's only if the cable is coiled. Okay, that weakens it. My beloved geriatric cat snuck on the bed one night with scalar on. She had a small tumor under her chin. I woke up with a little bump on my chin. Coincidence, maybe? <laughs> well, I don't know. That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure how to answer that one. All right, I'm I'm going to go back to the. Uh, I'm going to go back. Thank you, everyone, for your questions. I hope I answered them all. Let's go to this. I, okay, so I want to let you know about John and Echo's new book, The Essence of Happiness and True Freedom. Here's the link. You can download it. And then they also have a video channel with meditations on YouTube. And here's the link for that. Check it out. Some great info there. Here's the website. There's Spooky Scalar or Spooky Two Mall. And yeah, you can order, you know, for instance, there's the Spooky Central. And here's the Generator X Pro Kit. Uh, here's the Harmonizer. Here's the two sp Spooky uh, Scalar boxes. And then on the right here is the Spooky Scalar with the Generator X and the biofeedback. That's what that looks like. Okay. So this would be the the low end, right, where you just get the two boxes, which is phenomenal in my opinion. I mean, it's well worth it. And then you have your own scalar field. It's easy to set up. If you want to add the harmonizer, it's that. That can come with that. With the harmonizer, you know, you're bringing in frequencies. So you don't need the uh, generator, right? I mean, the generator is more sophisticated. It's access to more sophisticated programs. But uh, the harmonizer is great as well, you know, as an option, as a, if you have a lesser budget. And then, then this is the generator, uh, generator X Pro kit, which I love. That was the first thing I got. Um, and then Speak Central and then the... Yeah, the high-end scalar unit, which has the Generator X Pro and the biofeedback in it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. I hope it was helpful. And uh, I'm going to bring it to an end now. And um, I hope that, yeah, I hope that you can enjoy these products. They're amazing. And I feel really honored to be a spooky trainer. And uh, so I'm going to close this now. Thank you so much for watching. And there will be a replay.